taking a chance and ending up with better than expected results is always a pleasant surprise. And that's the feeling in Montingalia County where an experiment with an alternative fuel school bus is paying big dividends. The DEP's Mike Huff traveled to Morgantown to check it out. Parked outside the Mon County Transportation Center, bus number 318 looks a lot like any of the hundred other buses parked in the lot, except for this tiny sticker on the back. It has a little less power than a diesel um, as far as um, uh, of the power, but uh, it, it, it will uh, go up hills just as well as any other, other bus does. And Elaine should know. A veteran bus driver with 26 years of experience, Elaine knows her buses and knows that this one is pretty special. It's a quiet one. <laughs> when you've got kids and noise and a noisy diesel, as you can hear as one go by, as the people go by, it doesn't make that noise, so it's very quiet. That's because Elaine's bus is powered by propane. According to the engine manufacturer, Roush Cleantech, the propane bus is 50% quieter than a diesel, produces a fraction of the emissions, and is significantly less expensive to operate, both in reduced fuel costs and maintenance. Sounds too good to be true, and school officials were skeptical at first. I was approached by Bluebird. They started talking, you know, they'd, they'd come out with propane buses with Roush engines in them. And, you know, of course, my first thoughts were, I'm not putting kids on a, 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 a bomb. That's not an uncommon fear when talking about propane as a motor fuel. But after meeting with the manufacturer and touring the assembly line, the school system decided to give one a try. It would be the first propane-powered school bus in regular service in the state, and it turned out to be a pretty good decision. We have 130 buses. Nothing would make me happier to see 130 propane buses sitting out there. That's going to take a few years to do that. We put the bus on the road September 1, and I, I can't say enough and how pleased you are with its performance its savings that it's saving the county with cost of propane versus diesel. Uh, you know, of course, we'd heard a lot of rumors about, rumors about the power of the bus, uh, you know, that, you know, they wouldn't work, they wouldn't start, and we have had absolutely zero maintenance issues with this bus. Gallon for gallon, it uses about as much fuel as a diesel, but the difference is in the price. Propane is significantly less expensive than diesel, plus you could say it's homegrown. We're sitting on one of the largest deposits of natural gas in the world, you know, and part, a part of it's right here in Mon County. So economically, I don't ever see, I, I don't in the foreseeable future see the cost of liquid propane being anywhere near what the cost of, of diesel is. I keep preaching economics, economics, but it's environmentally too. You know, uh, the footprint that that bus leaves on, on the earth is very minimal. In Morgantown, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. According to the manufacturer, when you figure in the reduced cost of fuel and maintenance, each propane-powered school bus should save the school system an average of four to $5,000 a year, offsetting the slightly higher initial cost of the bus in less than two years. 